Hi guys, Squall here, back with another train simulator, this time back in the UK. Liverpool to Manchester, Piccadilly via Warrington scenario. Uh, it's got quite a few things in this one, actually. Obviously this is uh, hails back to my hometown, which is St Helens, and St Helens is between Liverpool and Manchester. I have friends that live in Warrington, I know these places well. <laughs> Despite the fact I now live down near London, I know these places quite well. Looking down this list of stuff here, I was thinking to myself, hmm, that sounds a little bit... You know, express service, boring. That one's a winter evening, express service, boring. I saw this one, I thought, okay. Match day, special trains are scheduled every 20 minutes to the football ground. You're finishing a local service to Manchester where you've been called on as a relief service to the football ground. It's a 20 minute journey. Should be interesting, it's in a class 158 regional. Quite easy to drive uh, over to the football ground. So let's take a look at that one. Here we go, it is match day, you're driving local service to Manchester Piccadilly, stop at each station on the way. Wow, high res graphics. Is it me or is these graphics super high res? Cool. Okay, restricted visibility. Have we got our lights on? Allow passengers to board here at Trafford Park before we continue to Manchester Piccadilly. I've been to Trafford Park, this is hilarious. Start of view. Open the doors. Wow, they open super fast. We've got the headlights on. It looks like we're all set up. It even says Manchester Piccadilly. This is high quality. I can't believe how how quickly. Let's go. I can't believe how quickly those doors open and close. Does the window work? Is it like OMSI? No! If this was OMSI, the window would work fantastically well. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a digital clock. Headlights are on day. Actually shows you the configuration of your lights. That's quite cool. Not a tremendously good accelerator. I'm guessing it's not going to be a particularly good breaker either. Train brake, wiper switch. Let's try the wipers. Fast, quiet. Everything you need from a wiper. Let's have a look around here. Loads of switches, none of them operate. Uh, none of this is operational by the look of it. Comms. I need to dial the acceleration back. But yeah, look at that. Really good texturing. Way here we go. <laughs> look at this. Let's get back in the cab. Where's the 30 speed limit? Oh, we're okay for a bit. It seems to slow down quite a bit even when you just turn off the acceleration. Miles per hour. As it should be. Play that alarm. Let's get ready to rumble. We've got a 30 miles per hour coming up. Actually seems to slow down quite effectively. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, this. You can tell this is a more recent kind of uh, scenario train pack because the. I don't know, just the whole thing just seems to have gone up a level in terms of quality. It's nice. I like it. What's that say? Reverser. Throttle. Nothing to do anything. AWS resets. Horn. Let's try that. <laughs> that sounds cool. Inappropriate use of the horn, I don't care, it sounds brilliant. Hang on a minute, was that not the stadium back there? We're not stopping there. Is it the brakes? Let's get down to 30. Cool. When do we have to be there? Okay, pick up passages from Deansgate 1204. Currently arriving a little bit late because I wasn't really doing proper track speed through that bit. Let's keep it as close to 30 as I can, I think. It's only a two carriage. Come on, speed up.
Yeah, you get a lot of these little uh, two-carriage diesel type things. Wow, this slope. Look at the speed. I'm doing like 70% throttle and only just picking up speed up this big slope. Nice. Really good scenery. Water texture's not great. Everything else is pretty good. Frame rate's good as well. These brick bit, brick bridges here, built during the uh, industrial times, when uh, all bridges used to be made like that. At least up north, anyway. Well, down south they did as well, because outside of Liverpool Street they've got similar things. And we had lots and lots and lots and lots of um, bricklayers in Britain. Okay. Let's stay in the cab in case we start getting an AWSs. Deansgate P1, look at that, Manchester Oxford Road is, you could almost throw a stone to the next station. Let's bring that down to 25. Here we are, Deansgate Platform 1. Get a load of that. Don't know where it's supposed to stop. I'm guessing it's a bit like where that guy is, roughly. Here we'll do. Otherwise, we're going to be late leaving. Doors open. Can't see anything because of the scenario. There we go. 12.04. Depart 12.04. So we're just about going to leave on time. In all seriousness, it's going to take us about a minute to get to the next one. <laughs> By the look of it. Should your service to Manchester United Football Ground was, has developed a fault, you have been called in as a replacement. Continue your regular stops to Manchester Piccadilly. Wow, didn't expect that. So, the, so it's not a particularly strong acceleration. Like up a hill, this thing would really struggle, I reckon. Doesn't feel that powerful. Slow it down to 20. There we go. And we'll just cruise into Oxford Road. Really good modelling, isn't it? I mean, I know that some of the wall textures are a little bit flat, but it's really nice modelling. You should do it. Open the doors. God, I wish all train doors open like that. As a passenger, that's brilliant. It pulls in and you're like, boom, straight off. Of course, I can see problems with it when you're closing the doors. People faffing about with bags, suddenly the doors go... 
like space station. Remember Aliens and, and other space um, sci-fi programs? And the doors like would open and close super fast. Like the Star, do you remember the Star Wars one? The door would just come slamming down in a split second. Now, what are we waiting for here then? Pick up passengers from Manchester Oxford Road. Arrive 1209, depart 1209. Okay. For some reason we're very, very early. Let's have a look around while we wait. Don't think I've been to Oxford Road Station. If any of you guys have been to Oxford Road Station, how realistic is this? The looks of it, I'd say it looks pretty well modelled, actually. We stick our head out the window. Oh, Tracker R actually works when you put your head out the window. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Actually look around. <laughs> That's really cool. What about on the other side? Blimey! Who knew? By the way, guys, if you are interested in Track IR, okay, which is the headset, um, natural point of giving me a link that will get you a discount. Doesn't get me anything. I don't get any money out of it or anything like that. Don't be thinking it's like that. It's literally just they realise that Track IR is used by a lot of people that follow my channel. So we do have a link. That will get you on the Track R Pro. It gets you like a twenty dollar discount, which is not to be sniffed at. But it's purely for you. It's not. Uh, it's like I say, it's not for me. Don't think it's a a money grab or anything like that. Not at all. It's just you know, if you're thinking of getting one, get it cheaper. Basically, I'll leave a link in the video in case you want to um, to use it. But yeah, Track R's such a game changing thing. It's a bit like getting a Logitech G27 wheel when you're playing. Euro truck or something. The first time you get it, you realise what you've been missing. Still waiting for red lights here. I wonder what we're actually waiting for. I've not seen another train come by yet. There we go. Green light's gone as well. Cool. Next stop, Manchester Piccadilly. Or as you used to call it when I was younger, Piccadilly. Again, it's half a mile away to the next stop. Very frequent stopper. Just wonder now. When I tap the acceleration, 14% appears to be about the first notch I can go to. Right, we've got a double yellow ahead. So we've, we've obviously got something going on. I wonder if it's the train that broke down. Maybe we're waiting for that. It's possible. Now, what would be really nice, considering this is a match day scenario... What would be really nice is when you actually get to the football stadium, stadium, you get all like loads and loads of people, and they're all dressed up in football gear, like you know Manchester United or whatever. I bet they're not, sadly, but it would be really cool if they would. Okay, twelve eleven, pretty much on time. Wow, we're actually stopping on the other side of the platform. Okay, we meant to stop before that. Surely not. Just looking at the diagram, I'm just wondering where we're supposed to stop here. I'm guessing it's a bit further around here. I just look at this track I are here now, I can just lean over. How wonderful is that, being able to just do that? Just lean over and like this. <laughs> okay. I think we've got roughly the right space. So Piccadilly, obviously a very, very big station. 
as you can see. Lots of platforms. any passengers around though. Where is everybody? Why are there not more people? Can we get in the back? Ah, oh, we can get in the back. And Truck L works here too. Interestingly, you're complete. Stop at Manchester United football fans have boarded. Change cabs and head to Manchester United football ground stopping at all stations on the way. Change cabs. That sounds like we're turning around. Centre player. Show task. Okay, control plus. Uh, let's put our headlights on. We don't have our headlights on, but I need to get moving while I figure this out. There we go. Now I've got the headlights on. Didn't realise we were turning around. Interesting. Makes sense. That was the football ground back there. Now it all makes sense. So it, that that confused me. Because I did say that looks like the football ground. I did wonder why we didn't stop at it. Because we didn't start out as the football service. But because the football service broke down, we've got here. We've been changed to become a football train, as it were. So now we've turned around and we're heading back, taking all the fans. I didn't see any get on, though, disappointingly, and there are none on here. But I do love Track R's ability to let you do this. I don't know why, but with Track R, when you look round, it, you have this... I've seen it on other trains as well, but it probably does it here. No, it doesn't do it here. This one's working okay. But yeah, I don't know, don't know why it does it. Get the brake speed down. Back to Oxford Road, there we go. Oh no, I'm speeding. Oh no. No, 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 no. Close. Can lose points very, very quickly doing that. Should I be sat on this side? <laughs> Feels like it should be sat on the other side right now. Okay, all aboard, peeps. Get on my awesome train. Right, pick up passengers from Oxford Road. Pick up passengers from Deansgate, pick up passengers from Manchester United Football Ground. <laughs> cool. Almost ready. Doors have closed. All these brakes. A lovely sunny day in Manchester. I'm just turning the overlay off just to get a good look at the scenery. Very nice. Okay, Deansgate, platform two. I kind of think that the, you know the track IR mechanic in Eurotruck where if you look left then your head sort of goes out the window and looks behind you. Might be nice to do something, or even when you lean, like, well, that kind of works I guess. You can do that. Yeah, it's just, but it kind of feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah, like all the all the graphics are don't work properly.
Engineering works. What's this? Like? Engineering works in the area. Expect delays. I didn't know there was engineering works around here. I like a broken down train, but. Okay. So next stop is the football ground. So presumably we're going to get. Let's have a look on the map a second. We're here. And we're going to be going. Where are we going? Where's the football ground? Is this it? That's no, Trafford. It's Trafford Park. Yeah, that's it, Trafford Park. United football ground, there it is. So yeah, we're going to have to get moved over at some point. Let's we'll zoom out here. Wow, this... What is this? Allerton. What's this one? Edge Hill. Edge Hill, Allerton. That's the scenario. Not bad. Sounds like departure. 1218. <laughs> Those doors still make me laugh. That guy just appeared from nowhere then. What I want to see is like people walking up the staircases or coming out the elevator doors, that kind of thing. With luggage as well. Wow, freight train. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not full service. I just realised there was a step change in speed down to 25. I was like, oh, I'm doing 30. There we go. Look at that. Really good. So far, so good, in terms of the scenario. Quite fancy trying some others in this uh, train pack now. Are there really only two carriages, these, though? I mean, I have seen two carriages, two, two carriage trains driving around... Liverpool, Manchester, so maybe it is, but they're kind of like buses on rails, aren't they, I guess, is the way to think of them. There we go. Signalling. Flashing yellow. I'm probably going to screw up this whole thing now, aren't I? Right, that's a red, I think. No, it's on the other side. So far, I can't see what the problem is. I know we're going to have to get on the other side to go over to Manchester, because the, the, the football pitch is on the right there. Don't see any red signals currently. Another flashing yellow. I wonder if they've got air conditioning in this cab. I bet they don't. I bet it gets really stuffy in here. In summer. One signal flashing now. And then a solid one. I'm really concerned about messing up this entire scenario. <laughs> Just because of signalling error on my part. Here we go. I can see a red further down. Trafford Park's on the right. I 
also see a 15 speed limit coming up. Okay. Time so we've got to be there, 23. Mostly on time at the moment. This has got to be the track change coming up. Is this it? Is this where we change track? Lost some points there. I should have been more on the ball. I tried to get down to the speed limit and failed. Yeah, this is the platform. Yeah, look at this. Manchester United football ground has its own has its own platform. Can you believe it? I can. <laughs> well, we're on time anyway. Man United football ground. You don't see that every day in this game. Nobody's getting off. That's ridiculous. How? I mean, seriously? That scenario, the whole point of the scenario was to move people on match day. And, you know, at worst I was expecting just a few passengers instead of the hordes of passengers that we should. I mean, this train should be crammed. Crammed with people. And instead we get there and there's one woman walking down the platform. You finish your extra stops and the crowds of fans excitedly head to the stadium. Do they really? I don't see any. You did a great job filling in well done. Man. They could have made that better. Oh, I should have got gold for that. Time then, this was 167, should have been 200, so... Looks like I didn't get a goal because I wasn't bang on time, I think, is how I read that. Okay, well, that's that one done. Match day madness, as you can see, that's that one done. Score 827 silver. That's it for this scenario, take, guys. take care guys, and happy driving.